Russian narcotics trafficking business that operated out of a middle-income apartment complex. The Atlanta police chief has vowed to protect families with children and seniors from the violence that he says accompanies the drug trade. And this time, his officers delivered. Good afternoon, and thanks so much for watching today. I'm Christine Spiro. Police say pills and pot were being sold early in the daylight hours from this apartment complex. That is until Atlanta officers showed up. Fox 5's More Stiggs has this exclusive story. When police conduct a narcotics investigation, they observe and they also typically do undercover buys. In this case, one of the officers told me the smell of marijuana reeked in one of the breezeways. Stacking it up. Atlanta officers in a stack column, high powered guns at the ready. There's nothing more dangerous than, uh, than breaking down a door you know, with a legal warrant in hand. An APD or narcotics commander provided Fox 5 with an exclusive room, look. The one with the dreads, he came out the back room with AR-15. At a recent drug raid at a south side apartment complex, in addition to a mini pharmacy stash of suspected commonly used narcotics, there was also marijuana, ecstasy pills, and thousands in cash. Investigators also confiscated five weapons, and it is the gun seizure that Chief Darren Cheerbaum told city council members is so critical. When you have a lucrative business such as this, someone will invariably come to take the drugs you see there, will invariably come to knock out the competition. And it's incumbent on this department to be engaged in those spaces for the citizens so violence never comes through Rambling Lane or that apartment complex. And we shut it down first. Describe that moment of injury and how did you manage to do it without shots being fired? Well, our, uh, the team that does the entry for us is the Apex team, and they have a lot of experience and a lot of good training. With larger numbers and heavier firepower than what the occupants allegedly had inside, charged are two adults, Terrell Cobb and Adderley Banks, also two teenagers, Antavius Boswell and Saeed Cobb. In this case, we're talking about an apartment that houses children, elderly, and families. So it's a huge concern that we're able to shut that down before any type of violence uh, was able to break out from there. This is dangerous work, but it's something that occurs every day, and it doesn't get the news because it's just what we do. So where did all the pills come from that we showed you? Not stolen from a pharmacy, but the officers tell me there's an underground lab that produces this. And keep in mind that lab is not under control and the substance may not be pure. From Southwest Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.